Here's the official winter weather outlook for 2012-2013 for North America. I know you've been waiting a while for this and sorry it took so long to get off the presses here, but here it is. We have, the, we're going to take a look at the, we have two maps. First the temperature outlook. It's characterized by a much above normal ridge here that will occur for a lot of the temperatures here in the southwest. This does not necessarily mean below normal precipitation. That's why I'm separating the temperatures from the actual precipitation because you're going to find some strange contrasts here with temperatures versus precipitation. Warm temperatures out here out west and some of the southern states and characterized by a much cooler air mass from British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, all the way down through the Great Lakes here in the northeast and extending down towards some of the southern states here like the Carolinas and just north of Florida. This will be characterized by much of below normal. Now I want to make note, just because you have below normal temperatures does not mean you're going to see above normal snowfall. We're going to get to that. And here up in the eastern provinces of Canada, including Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and extending up towards the east here, eastern Quebec, and some of these other provinces up here, we have above normal or temperatures expected. So. For characterization of a ridge in the North Pacific and a trough probably most likely across the eastern portion of North America, but another ridge up here in the eastern provinces of Canada leading to that above normal temperatures. Now does this mean above normal snowfall for the Northeast? Does it mean below normal precip for the Southwest? Not necessarily. Let's take a look at what we've got here for the winter weather outlook precipitation here. Now we're going to get right to one thing that I want to make note of right away. Southwest above normal precipitation, above normal temperatures. Yes you can have that. It's characterized by a little bit of ridging with some systems that make it in from the northwest. Northwest should be above normal precipitation at least mostly east or west of the Cascades. Once you get east of the Cascades, that's where we're going to start getting into some dryness. And that drought in the northern plains and northern Midwest should continue to push slightly westward into the Rockies. As we have a, some, some cutoff ridging here going on, um, which should keep systems content in pu pushing into the Northwest. But once they get across the mountains here, they'll have a hard time picking up moisture, especially since things should be drier than normal in the southern plains here down towards Texas. Now in eastern Mexico here, this is where we get into some uh, above normal rain, above normal rainfall across Florida, the southeast, and some of the Carolinas. And above normal uh, snowfall across the northern Great Lakes uh, in central Canada here, up here. So, now we get into the tough part. Above normal snowfall here, stretching from northern Georgia, northern Alabama, up through eastern Tennessee, up the Appalachians, and continuing over northern Virginia, Maryland, New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, and southern New England, and southeastern New England. And then just to the west here, a, the, drought exp the drought from the Midwest expands through the eastern Great Lakes here to include upstate New York, northern Pennsylvania, particularly north of I-80, and Ohio, and extending westward. So, this is going to be a sharp contrast here in the northeast. Why am I thinking that? Well, I think the systems are going to take a lot of tracks similar to the way they have been doing. And Sandy was an exception, but the, the low pressure should continue to ride up across the northwest and then dry out as they head dive south here across the Great Lakes, but begin to pick up Alberta clipper type moisture here across the Great Lakes, and then dive south, develop a low, but the pattern will probably be too progressive and too far east to make that heavier snow more northwest into mainly more interior sections. But it will be enough to spread above normal or snowfall across New England, the big city, a lot of the big cities in the northeast, as well as the Appalachians here. So that's why we're looking at the above normal snowfall here 
and drier, below normal, anywhere you see the orange, below normal snowfall, below normal precipitation is likely, anywhere in the orange. The white, that's where we expect above normal snowfall, and the green, that's where we expect above normal rainfall. So that pretty much breaks it down for the country, and it's all going to be dependent on a number of factors. The biggest factor, of course, is the North Atlantic Oscillation, as well as the Pacific Oscillation up here in the Pacific. But it really comes down to the pattern and how much ridging and blocking you've got and how much cold air. Now, we do have a lot of cold air to tap into here, but like I said, that does not mean widespread above normal or snowfall. The, most of the above normal snowfall will occur with coastal lows that form, but the coastal lows will form a lot of times too far off the east coast to produce a blockbuster storm. So we'll get these storms that are progressive that move, say, from the southeast and move just enough off of the coast of New York City and Boston to give them above normal snowfall, but we're not talking about a negatively tilted systems that get really blocked and then spiral and head back west and produce anywhere from 20 to 40 inches of snow across interior section. So we're not looking at those kind of storms. But, like I said, this could be, get very interesting for the big cities of the Northeast, the Appalachians, and even down here into portions of the Deep South into uh, northern Georgia, northern Alabama, where we could see a couple snowstorms that actually produce more snow than they're used to seeing. So that's what I have for you now. If things change, I will fine-tune this over the winter, but this is the main layout that I'm expecting here over the next, say, a couple months here, through February at least. So, there you have it. I'm meteorologist Mark Molnar. Like us on Facebook at MeteorMark and uh, our website, MeteorMark.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube.